Hi boys and girls, today you will be glazing your mugs. They have been through the first firing, so they are ready. They are that um, type of stoneware that we call bisque. Okay, and so they're, they're ready for the paint, which we call glaze, because it's a special kind of paint that has that ground up glass in it, right? That's gonna turn shiny. So there will be an assortment of different little cups of different colors. Decide what color you want yours to be. If you want it to be white, you can paint it white so that it'll turn shiny. I don't know if you can see this, but do you see how shiny that is? It's not doing it. It's almost too bright and shiny. There we go. Uh, but if you want to make it white, make paint it white, okay? This is actually the white glaze, okay? It doesn't look like it's white, but when it gets cooked up in the kiln, it's going to turn bright white like this. Okay, so if you want it to be white, be sure to paint it with the white glaze. Um, one other tip when you're painting, you know how we made this out of coils and there's little spaces in here. Make sure that you use your brush and you wiggle it so that it goes down into all those little creases. Get into any little holes. Um, be sure you're getting in deep inside here if you have a handle on yours. Paint all the way down into the bottom of your mug the top rim of your mug, everywhere in your mug except the bottom. This bottom side of your mug, we don't want to paint that part right there, okay? So Mrs. Walker's gonna have an assortment of cups. There's a basket up there to kind of see what, uh, what they'll look like. If you're curious what it's gonna look like, you can look at those little example pieces. Um, every table will have brushes that are sitting in a little bit of water, just a dab. When you're ready to paint with your brush, um, you'll want to set yourself up a little workspace. So I'm going to move this to the side. Set yourself up a workspace. Get the color that you are going to start with. I think I'm going to paint this one. I'm going to paint it yellow. Okay, so I'm going to just take the yellow. I'm going to leave all the other colors up there for other people to use. If uh, with these, I want you to limit yourself to only two colors, okay? You can do the whole thing in one color, or you can paint the inside one color and the outside one color. The reason I want you to limit yourself to two colors, no more than two colors, is because of time. We do not have time to do a real elaborate um, multicolor paint job. So inside is one color. Actually, I think I'm going to paint the inside of mine white, and I think I'm going to paint the outside yellow, okay? So you will have a paintbrush, and what I was going to say is if you just dip in the water and dip in here, you're going to start to make this get watered down. So blot your paintbrush a little bit on your paper towel just to get the excess water out, and then start painting. Paint all of your pot, even the handle, and when, and when you do it, you want to paint thin coats. So three, three thin coats. Put on a coat of paint, let it dry. It should take about 10 seconds if you put a thin coat on. It almost dries as fast as you paint it, okay? And then when you're completely done, Mrs. Walker has a sponge on each table. If this, this should just be squeezed out and almost dry, but just slightly damp. If it gets really, really dry, you may have to spray, uh, you may have to spray a little bit of water on it to get it moist, but you're gonna take that and wipe the bottom just to make sure that nothing on the bottom um, Sometimes when I'm painting, a little bit will drip on to the bottom, and I just want to make sure that I get all that wiped off so that it doesn't get stuck to the kiln shelf, okay? So, after I'm done painting this, which I'm definitely not done painting it yet, but when I get done painting this, this is going to go back onto the board that you guys, uh, that Mrs. Walker picked it up off of to give to you, okay? Paint it, three layers of each color. If you're doing one color in the center, then three layers of that, go put that color away, get your other color, bring your other color back. You should only have one of these at your spot at a time, not both of your colors, just one. When you're done with it, take it and put it away and get a different color. Hi boys and girls. Okay, we're going to be glazing our pottery today and I want to do uh, give you one very important warning. Um, this is a kiln shelf right here. This is one of the things that I put in the kiln and I set your pottery on. And this person um, got glaze on the underneath part of their pot. And the only way for Mrs. Walker to get this off the kiln shelf is to break it off with a hammer. 
I've tried taking it off. It's on a really, I mean, I can't, I can't get it off because it's sort of like it's glued down or painted down. So I'm going to have to try to gently Hi boys and girls. Okay, for cleanup today, the only thing you really need to do is make sure that your brush gets put back in the water to soak. Make sure the lid gets put back on your glaze. You're going to put that back where you got it. And then we're going to take our paper towels and we're going to throw those away. And one person from each table will need to dump this water and rinse the brushes and then bring them back with just enough water, just enough in the bottom to just get barely get the... the um, bristles wet. Don't put so much that the water comes up to the wooden part of these, okay? So maybe only about that much water in the bottom, just a little bit. And then this, I want somebody to take this to the sink, rinse it out really good, squeeze it out. It should be completely squeezed out. There shouldn't be any water in the bottom of here. And if your water bottle for some reason is empty, you could also refill that. Then, then wipe off this tray and we're good to go for the day. That's all you need to do is just make sure that this is clean, organized. This could probably, this is definitely not washed off. You can see there's a lot of uh, glaze in there that needs to be wiped off. Okay?